The true book of the Mediterranean and its inhabitants still has many blank pages. For example, the page is dedicated to sharks and manta rays. Until now, contact between man and shark in the Mediterranean have always been unpredictable chance encounters. And yet, the Mediterranean is inhabited by many marine giants. Italian expedition has ever set out to search for sharks. Mission Shark is the first expedition to set off in search of our local sharks to identify them, film them, and photograph them. The mind behind this expedition is Alberto Luca Ricchi a shark specialist, a documentary maker with many ocean expeditions behind him. I've written books and made films about sharks before, but always doing the shooting abroad. This time, we will be trying to meet and document Italian sharks. For this expedition, Ricky has set in motion a complex operational organization, which draws on, among others, important shark experts. Let's see who the researchers on board will be. Irene Bianchi, Simona Clò, Marco Costantini, Angelo Muglietta. But behind an expedition of this kind, there are a hundred different aspects that have to be foreseen, analyzed and tested. For example, the preparation of an anti-shark cage, which Alberto Lucarecchi has developed to assure the safety of the documentary makers. The preparation of the boats themselves has also been a delicate operation because there are really a lot of details which have to be taken care of in a boat that will have to be at sea for months in search of sharks. Any wildlife expedition is a complicated affair. In the sea, still more so. And when you're going to look for sharks, there are even more precautions to be taken. Mission Shark is ready to begin. This is the phase in which equipment is tested Various situations are simulated and unforeseen events are assessed. It's a delicate phase during which many people's work over many months is put to the test. Mission Shock begins with an expedition of more than three months which will search the Lower Adriatic, the Ionian Sea, the Straits of Messina and the Sicilian Channel, the areas where the chances of meeting sharks are highest. The search will last a hundred days. But what expectations do the various members have for the expedition? In my normal job, I mostly have to do with dead sharks because I work in fish marketing. My great hope is to see them alive and to see those famous fins slicing through the sea. My expectation is to be able to observe the natural behavior of these creatures and, well, there's always the hope of sighting a rare species or a rarely seen species, something spectacular. The expectation is to find these splendid creatures in the Mediterranean, something which has never been done before. As for my hope, it's to be able to contribute to the knowledge and the protection of sharks. They too need protecting. My expectation is to find as many species of shark as possible in their natural habitat. My particular hope is to leave this boat with as much data as possible that I can use for my research. The enthusiasm in everyone involved in the expedition is intense. Mission Shark is an important opportunity to further knowledge about creatures which have always been considered dangerous, but which today are themselves in danger of extinction. When Recky spoke to me about this Mission Shark expedition and asked me to take part, I immediately thought what a great opportunity it was for me. My first thought was, finally, finally, I'm going to see them in the sea. For me, this is a very important opportunity, perhaps unique, because it's terribly difficult for a marine biologist to get hold of a boat to work from. An amazing opportunity, something I'd have never considered except in my wildest dreams. And now, 
An announcement for navigators. Yes, we have opened an internet site and everyone interested in sharks can follow the expedition and satisfy their curiosity about sharks. The address is http slash slash obiettivo squali point tin point it. Thank you.